Uh, Kian Carla, nice to see you again, as I say. Um, uh, Kian Carla, I'm sure, like me, there's a, almost a sense of surrealism in over the last past four weeks and the proceedings today and what is happening to people's well-being and health. Um, and in a matter of weeks, hundreds of thousands of people have lost their jobs. Um, and not only have they lost their jobs, they've lost their incomes and their livelihood. And there's a sense of huge insecurity in this country that has never been seen before for generations. Uh, and today's figures uh, read sombre reading that 500,000 people of this country now are on the live register, an increase of 13% from January the 1st. It's quite incredible, uh, and I don't think anybody could have predicted the, the, kind of, um, the amount of job losses over that period of time. And even more sombre is um, figures from the United States today. 6.6 .6 million people filed for unemployment benefits as of last week. Um, and I think what we are witnessing here and probably entering is um, the vortex of an economical depression that the world has never seen. And that's not being alarmist, but that's probably what we're facing. Uh, also the health, kind of, um, the, 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 the amount of people that will, uh, will, you know, will be completely affected by this pandemic. Um, and for most, Kian Carla, this will be temporary in relation to job losses, and that's, that's we have to be kind of um, up front with people. And also, uh, they will be permanent for some people that have lost their jobs completely. Um, and many people, for the first time, are accessing social welfare for the very first time in their working lives. Um, and as I said, hundreds of thousands of people Hundreds of thousands of people have accessed social welfare over the last couple of weeks in relation to the COVID payment. And I think we have to commend the workers uh, that have processed all their claims in the Department of Social Protection. They've done a fantastic job under, under un unbelievable, uh, unprecedented um, um, an environment. So, Minister, I just have a, a series of questions um, in relation to... I know this is not your remit, so I will kind of just to kind of project them to you in relation to... Will the, the department consider universal payment of 350 euros for all um, for all workers that have been have lost income in the last uh, number of weeks? Um, there are also an anomalies in relation to the COVID, pay COVID payment. Uh, those are over 66. Um, those that are working in the gig economy, students on work study visas who had who had not started before the relevant date. Uh, so they are people that will not get the kind of 350. Euro COVID payment, um, and they're kind of out of that bracket. Is there provision by the department to uh, maybe have a solidarity payment for, in relation to people that are on disability, illness benefit, just for this period of time, uh, just until the, this period uh, uh, is over? Also, a special rent allowance for those unable to meet rents. Is there any provision for that? Um, also, a reward payment for frontline uh, workers that are working in the public health system. Is there any provision uh, for that? Um, just the last thing, uh, Minister, is in relation to the wage subsidy scheme. Um, just to give you a kind of, uh, just a brief kind of uh, anomaly in relation to this scheme. So anybody that's earning over 586 euros should get the 410 wage subsidy scheme. Now at the minute they are getting only 350 euros. So people are losing out by this anomaly. Now, this, under kind of the information that I have, could be changed through a ministerial order. So, would the, 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 the department consider this through a ministerial order of changing this anomaly in the wage subsidy scheme in relation to people that are earning over such uh, over just under over 580 euros to get the 510? If that does that make sense? Okay, I'll leave it there. I mean, that was yeah. Thanks.